many people talk about all those vessels sitting out in English Bay and ask, you know, what are all those tankers doing there? For one, they're not tankers. They're, vessel, they're primarily grain vessels or bulk vessels waiting for different terminals in the harbor. Our, the oil tankers don't do that. They call ahead in advance a long time and they, they sail with proper escort tug straight to the terminal, load up and sail back again. We, we of course understand that um, because there's so much publicity around tanker traffic that people see ships, they automatically assume that those ships are tankers. Um, what is not commonly recognized is that tankers are a very, very small proportion of shipping on the coast of British Columbia. In fact, it's, it's only uh, around 3%, around 70% of the vessels uh, of the traffic in British Columbia is actually bulk carriers. And so typically what you are seeing uh, in English Bay waiting to load are grain vessels, coal vessels, um, bulk carriers of different sizes. Very rarely will it ever be a tanker. But uh, should a tanker need to anchor for a period to await berth av availability at Westridge, for example, we actually have in anchorages. We have three anchorages available in Indi Indian Arm. That is to say, they'll come through Second Narrows and anchor on the other side to await berth availability at Westridge. That's a more efficient way for us to handle it because it, what it means is that as soon as the berth does become available, uh, a tanker can go directly to berth without wake, waiting for slack water at Second Narrows.